Okay, I have <laughs> the first time. I have a connected challenge. Oh. Uh, hello, Zeta. I'm a high school teacher, and I'd love for you to share the most memorable lesson you've had in high school. I learned a lot in high school. I like to think I was there for four years. I paid attention. The most important thing that I thing that I learned was from somebody who was never, ever, ever my teacher. She was our yearbook advisor. She was a great teacher in her own right, Miss Simpson. And she said to me, "Just because you're good at something doesn't mean you get to decide everybody else does do the same thing." Great, Ooh. great lesson. Wow. Mm -hmm. Was that in response to you doing something really <laughs> obnoxious? I was acting in a way that was very obnoxious. Uh, there was on the yearbook committee. I was like, I don't know, this guy who has come out to volunteer for this is mm -hmm. not showing that he's doing very good work. Mm -hmm. Like he's not understanding this stuff. I was devouring desktop publishing and layout and all these kind mm -hmm. of things. I thought I was going to make it my career at one point. And uh, he was not coming around in it, but he wanted to be a part of the whole thing. Yeah. And I was like, can we find him something else to do? Like he's not really. He doesn't really get it, and because I'm devoted to, I want to make this, I'm thinking of it like, oh, magazine, your book, like publication, all these things, like everything's got to be perfect, and all these, you've got to follow the rules and do all the things correctly, and my teacher said to me, she's like, just because you are very good at something doesn't mean you get to dictate how everybody else did it. And that was, I was ashamed when I, when I heard that, because I was like, oh yeah, oh yeah, I was being a real jerk. Yeah. yeah. I mean, that, 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 that shows some maturity from from young beige <laughs> that you were able to take that on I was 16 <laughs> like you were able to take that on as a criticism and and not uh, an attack know, yeah and not an attack yeah and, and able to able to realize that it could be done in a better way mm -hmm. anybody else have a have a lesson they learned in high school their most memorable lesson they learned in high school um I think that mine actually came from my theater tech teacher, Mr. Swigger, Swigs, and it was just like really pushing me to internalize if everything is overwhelming, it's okay to step away and take a breath. Awesome. Because, you know, what makes me really unique is that I was having a bunch of emotional turmoil in high school, mm. unlike anyone else. Yes. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Everyone else had a great time in high school. Oh yeah. It's <laughs> it's interesting that, that that advice specifically coming from the theater tech teacher. <laughs> no, he was he was awesome and he even was like, Hey, if thing if you're really having a tough time, lie and say that you're helping me build a set and you can just like organize the woodloft for a minute. That's a that's a teacher that's really recognizing what's going on with a student. That's yeah. kind of great. I, I've had some really good luck with some of my teachers. That's awesome. I, I feel like it's a recurring thing that this person, this piece of advice, didn't come from the actual like teacher in their class. Yeah. Because not, not that the teacher in the class is bad or anything, but it's like a different, you have a different relationship with that. Or you, you sort of need that, sometimes you need that sort of that that authority figure that isn't the teacher that isn't your parent yeah, yeah. feels like a like a mentor of sorts right that yeah. they just kind of take you on and they're like i want to i want to help you and i want to deal with you yeah. yeah that was really good i was i actually tried to get into her homeroom uh into what we call ta teacher advisory i was like can i transfer and she was like no you can't you cannot be a part of my ta you're like, I'm your, I'm the yearbook advisor. I have all these other things that I'm doing. I'm like, yeah, but I'm here all the time working on stuff. She's like, yes. And also, you need to remember to call your actual TA and let her know when you're here. <laughs> Every minute today. And I'm like, I always forget. She's like, I know, but you're allowed to call. You should just work it out with her ahead of time. And, and yeah, that was, uh, I was not very well behaved. <laughs> I was very into myself, okay? <laughs> I was extremely self-centered, still am. Uh, Let's, uh, funny that I'd end up a performer. Um, okay. <laughs> the orb has become so fancy. It is oh, princess hey. orb. <laughs> I learned what? how to make crossbows in high school. Oh, heck yeah. <laughs> Do you want to elaborate? <laughs> Can you? It was for money. <laughs> oh, well, it's okay then. Neat. All right, new, new Zeta sport. Did you grow up in the Middle Ages, or <laughs> you can you can do the math on this one? Yeah. 
I mean, I know why you did it. I'm just... <laughs> you were compelled. <laughs> <laughs> okay. We have... <laughs> Do we want to leave that there, then? Well, sure. Okay. okay.